Hey, what's up guys? This is Adam Heitzman and welcome to Tea Time with Adam. Today I will be drinking an aged oolong from the 70s, which I bought from Mountain Stream Teas based in Taiwan. I only got a sample of 10 grams and I'm having half of this right here. This will be my first time trying this tea, so it'll be interesting to see how it tastes. I got five grams of this tea, which I'll be brewing for about 20 seconds to start with this first infusion. And I have the water set to about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. First infusion. This liquor is a nice dark reddish orange. Hmm. The aroma is just like really deep and roasted. It also has this like I don't know very old smelling note to it. I don't really know how to describe it. Hmm. Oh, that is so good. And just very thick and earthy, almost like shoal pu'er, but like better. Yeah, it just has that sort of like very earthy, like forest floor sort of flavor that you get in a lot of shoal pu'er, but it's different. Like it's just a lot lighter and clearer. And there's almost this like hint of caramel, like like this sort of like sweet caramely flavor that I sort of get like just in the back of my tongue at the end of the sip. Mm. Yeah, this definitely has like a nice creamy flavor just sort of soaking everything. It just really brings everything together. For the second infusion, I'm gonna bump up the brewing time to around 30 seconds. Mmm. Yeah, I'm getting some more flavors coming out. Just in like the lower notes. Like it almost has this hint of like dark chocolate. Like not like the regular dark chocolate, but like the pure dark cacao sort of flavor. Yeah, this infusion is definitely a lot like deeper and darker. Mmm. In fact, like, especially with the aroma, it, it almost just smells very roasted. It, it's definitely got a nice roast to it. Like it's almost got a bit of a hardwood sort of flavor in there too, in the lower notes, just mixed in with like the whole dark chocolate and forest floor flavors. Third infusion, I think we're gonna go 30 seconds again. really hit hard with like this. I get this very dark roasted flavor. It's got this like nice strong like charcoal 
note that I'm getting. It's really coming out strong in this one. But there's still just like a bit of that just nice earthiness. It's, the earthiness has definitely softened out a bit and it's just kind of coating like the base flavor of the tea. Hmm. I've had other teas that have similar flavor profiles to this before, like some shopuers, some like darker oolongs before, but like nothing has really matched the clarity and just like depth that this flavor has. Those other teas that I had, you know, it's like 1080p video. This is like turning it up to 4K. Like there's just so much more little detail in there that I can just like feel. That's really good. Oh, that last sip, I definitely had a bit of like creaminess to it almost. Let's see, I think I'll go up to about 35, 40 ish seconds on this one. So yeah. This didn't have that big charcoal punch that the, like the last one did. This one's a lot lighter and it, it, it's almost a bit sweet. Mm. Yeah, the depth is really sort of rounding out and it's just giving this nice like sweetness. Like there, there isn't really much of that um, wet earth sort of flavor anymore. It's more just like a nice just rounded warmth in the base that comes up to like this almost like stone-like note with this little hint of astringency right, right in like the top notes that I could really feel coming out onto the back of my tongue. Yeah, the evolution of this flavor is really interesting. I'm really liking this tea so far. Like one of the best teas I've had. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's push it up 50 seconds this time. so smooth this time like all the all the top notes just seem to have been just rounded off and I'm definitely getting some charcoal coming back in like the base and I even get a just a bit of that earthiness coming back too pretty lightly it's it's more like the charcoal but yeah that charcoal earth flavor it's definitely coming back in this infusion. I don't know, I might try one more infusion on camera. We'll see how it is. If it's still good enough to like actually talk about, might as well go a full minute on this one. Nothing really new with 
this infusion. Basically tastes like the last one, at least so far. It almost has a little spice to it, but not really that much. But yeah, overall this tea was really good. Yeah, I really wish I had more than 10 grams of it total, but it's also kind of expensive, so eh. that's all I'll be drinking for today. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.